So in the previous section, we basically took a look at the products and collections. We also went inside of the collection page and took a look at how that works from a very high level overview. And then we also went into the home page and we created sections and schemas for those. And we finished off on the product page. And on the product page, we marked it up with our class names that we want to have going forward. And then we also took out the add to cart form and we created a snippet called add to cart form and then we put the whole form in there. This makes it much more easier to work with and also it just looks much cleaner on the product page. So the next thing that we want to do is replace all of this HTML add to cart form actions and substitute it with Vue.js. This will make it much more flexible when we want to create the custom drop down select form. So let's go ahead and actually add Vue.js to this theme. So for this course, we'll be using Vue.js 3.0. And this is the most recent version of Vue.js. If we go into v3.vuejs.org and we click on installation, we can take a look at that. To install Vue.js, we can use the CDN package, or we can also download the JavaScript files and host them ourselves. So we can actually do both with Shopify themes. For now, we will just be using the CDN package just because it's a little bit easier. So for this course, I used Vue 3.0.5. Right now, Vue.js is at 3.0.11. So I will have the link for the CDN package. So please refer to the CDN package in the lecture notes as I don't want you to have any issues going forward with this course. It's important to make sure that we're on the same package. But if you decide to use the latest version for your theme, you can go ahead and click CDN package and just include this link. And let me show you where you're going to be including it. So going back into our theme, we can go into layout and theme.liquid. So theme.liquid contains all of the HTML that we need for any regular website. For example, we have the head here, the title, and things like the meta tags and all kinds of different links to packages that we want to use. So for example, here we're including the application.css and over here we're including the application.js files. And we can use the liquid filters to add the style sheet tag and also the script tag. So let's add the CDN package right above the application.css. So this is the package that we will be using. This is the development package for this course. We will be talking about going into production later in the course, but this is the package that you're going to be using for production. As you can see, it is the same thing, but we are specifying here that we want the global.prod.js file from inside the view CDN. And this will remove any kinds of errors that you might be seeing in the console log of your browser. So for now, I'm just going to comment the production one out and we are left with the open one here. So let's go ahead and click save. Let's take a look at our terminal. And we can see that the layout slash theme that liquid did indeed save. So let's just close this again for now. And then we can go back into the add to cart form. And instead of the add to cart form, so let's go to the bottom and add a script tag. And inside of the script tag, we'll be referencing the ID of the form. So basically what we need to do now is remove all of this. And I also want to change the ID name and I'll change the ID name to add to cart form just so that it's easier to remember. And then we can click save. And so now inside of the script tag, what we can do is create an if statement and inside of the if statement, we can check if this ID exists on the page. So we can go ahead and type in document.query selector. 
and we can just reference the ID of our form, which is add to cart form. And then inside of the if statement is where we will have all of the logic for the view. So we don't need to actually initialize Vue.js anywhere just by importing it into our layout.theme. It's automatically initialized and we can just start using it. So I will be teaching Vue.js along as we're going through this course. But if you ever need to reference the documentation, you can definitely just refer to the v3.vuejs.org. There are differences between Vue.js 3 and Vue.js 2.0. So make sure that you're referencing the version 3.0. So let's go back to the code now. And in order to initialize Vue.js on this page, we will need to create a, a variable and we will call that variable product form. And we're just going to type in view.create app. And then after that, we'll type in mount and actually reference the ID of our form. So if you're brand new to Vue.js, do not worry because it's actually one of the easiest frameworks to pick up. It's much easier than React. So as we're going through this course, you're going to be able to learn Vue.js and literally create anything else with it. So after that, let's go inside of our object of our view app. And this is where we're actually going to start putting in our logic. So the first thing that we will need to do is we will need to set the delimiters. And the delimiters are a way for us to reference the Vue.js inside of our code. So the, the reason we need to implement delimiters is because Vue.js uses the same notation as liquid which is the double curly braces or the mustaches as they're also called sometimes. So let's go inside of our view app and we will type in delimiters and then inside of square brackets, we can put in the way that we want to reference these and we'll just type in like this. So basically in order for us to actually create a variable inside of our theme, we will need to put a dollar sign first and then a curly bracket and then close it with another curly bracket. And this way, Vue.js will know that whatever is inside of this is what contains Vue.js. So now let's actually put a comma and we will create some data and test out if Vue.js even works. We will need a return statement inside of our data and inside of the return statement, let's type in a variable and we will just name it test and then we'll give it a value of test. So let's click save. And now what we can do is reference this variable anywhere inside of our theme. So let's go to the add to card button. And then underneath the add to cart button, what we'll do is just reference this test variable. So let's hit save, and then we will go back into our theme and hit refresh. And as we can see, we now inserted a variable inside of our theme. And so now we can change this variable to whatever we want coming from view, and we don't need to change anything here. So let's hit refresh now. And now it says coming from view. Awesome. So how easy was that? We can basically inject Vue.js into any part of our theme and start working with it right away. We don't need to create any special templates or anything like that. And that's exactly why I think Vue.js is the perfect technology for Shopify themes. So let's go into the next video where we're going to start actually working with Vue.js and making this product page actually come to life. So I'm super excited. I'll see you there.